Should you create a package of sessions as your pricing model or have subscription-based where a client would see you, for example, twice a month with a minimum of a three-month commitment? So it's a great question. And, you know, it's so funny because I started years ago uh, when I, when I uh, started offering one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, coaching in, back in 2014, um, I've been in business since 2009, but I didn't really offer one-on-one -on -one coaching until 2014. It's really weird. I kind of did reverse, but um, I started on the subscription model. It's like we get to, you know, I have two models. I, you get to book me for twice a month. Um, and I think, I think I did say minimum three months or something. We have very, very common uh, model. Or you get to book me for four times a month. Um, again, minimum three months, three months. And the people at the four times a month got a you know, better price than the people at twice a month. That makes sense because um, now that's, I shouldn't assume that. Some, some people don't realize that that makes sense. I think it makes sense just because um, financially uh, it's better for your business, obviously, if someone sees you uh, more frequently. It it might may or may not make sense in terms of your work with the client. So you have to figure out what's appropriate to 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 propose to them. But if if it's if it's like, well, you could see me more often or less often, obviously it's better for your business as a service provider. So therefore you give the client um a, a you know a, an incentive to do that at discount or or um, a better rate. Now, um what about the package thing? So just to make it clear, a package. In my opinion, especially as a as a marketing guy, really should be thought of from a marketing angle, from the branding angle or the copywriting angle. You have a, a you know a package. Let's say I'm a, a leadership consultant, and a package. You know, you could, I, could, I could have the subscription model, um, which, by the way, the subscription model tends to be. Um, a lot of clients like it because it's easier for them to budget. Oh, it's every month I'm paying this much for, for, for therapy or for coaching or for consulting or, or, or whatever, for this kind of service. I'm paying this much every month. Um, and, it's, and it's more gentle of a payment rather than, oh, buy a $1,500 package or something like that, right? But a package uh, is essentially, you might just say it's a, it's a, it's a number of sessions. And you could, you could say that... A, Seeing me twice a month for three month minimum is a package. It's a it's a it's a package in terms of a logistical pricing standpoint. But I think if you're going to talk about packages, it makes more sense from a marketing standpoint to say, uh, let's say a leadership consultant. Yes, I sell a package for this type of organizational transformation. Is this package? Or if, I, if I'm a relationship coach, you know, uh, people who are going through trying to find um, the right kind of you know, date or the right kind of partner. Uh, I have this package where we work together for six months to, you know, optimize your online dating profile. And then, you know, like there are specific projects we work on throughout our six months together, specific uh, segments or skills that we develop through the six months. So, so really packaging is really, I think should be looked at it from a more service design and marketing point of view. And people name their packages, some clever names and things like that. Whereas in terms of the pricing, you should you should always think about like um, essentially you you still have to price based on per hour. I know no one likes to hear that, but you, you, you're still spending a certain number of hours delivering a certain subscription model or a certain package. How much time does it take you, and how much would it make you feel good to earn for that time? And so that I think has to be the foundation of your pricing. Uh, and then um, you also then have to look at the market pricing. It's like how much per, how much is the client expecting for this kind of package or for this kind of subscription? So I, I hope that helps as a, uh, and I say it's funny when I, in the beginning I said it's funny because I started as a subscription model, but over the years, I don't know why, maybe the, my marketing side, I started talking a lot about packages and a, a colleague of mine just re recently mentioned, reminded me, George, you know, when, when I worked with you as a client years ago, you started as a subscription. And so I think that's a really good model. You should say more about that. So that's right. So I forgot about that. So yes, I think most people, subscription is really easy on the client and the service provider. There's no, it's, no, it's a kind of a no brainer. And then once you get more sophisticated and especially into the marketing angle, you might want to start thinking about packages in terms of service design and the marketing element. So I hope this helps.